A teenage girl was bitten by a monkey during a stop at Bucky's in Terrell. Now, the monkey was a pet brought inside the store by its owner. Now, police want to track down the man and the monkey. Fox 4's Alex Boyer live tonight at the Dallas Zoo. Alex. Yeah, guys, and the Dallas Zoo is a place you'd expect to find a monkey, not inside a busy gas station convenience store. I talked to the mammal curator here at the zoo who tells me he's not surprised at all that the monkey uh, bit someone and says that they can carry all sorts of diseases. This is a photograph of the unidentified monkey and man Terrell police are trying to find. The grainy surveillance image was taken inside the Bucky store off I-20 in Terrell, where police say the monkey bit a customer. They're taking a, a, a monkey that's supposed to be with all monkeys into a store that has is loud, has all these people. Even if you do that daily, one little thing that scares it can cause a horrible incident. Dallas Zoo mammal curator Keith Jureski says primates, while cute, make for horrible pets because they are unpredictable. Socially, they're not made to be with humans. Um, they don't know how to to be nice all the time. They, once they get to sexual maturity, they, they want to fight. Like their teeth are sharp. Terrell police say the victim is a 13-year-old girl who is traveling with an out-of-state church group. Last Friday at approximately 3.45 p.m., the girl went into the Bucky's, saw the man with the monkey, and asked to hold it. A manager reportedly told them the monkey could not be in the store. When the owner tried to take the monkey off the girl's shoulder, police say it bit her on the neck, barely breaking her skin. Still, investigators are worried about the possible spread of infection. Jureski says they're smart to take proactive action. Whatever uh, that monkey had in the saliva, urine, if it touched feces, it could transmit that to you. So you're talking about TB, influenza, common cold, hepatitis, all these different things you could transmit, um, the monkey could transmit to you. And police say this is not a criminal case. They simply want to make contact with the owner uh, to make sure that the monkey has its vaccinations. Now, we don't know if the girl uh, has shown any symptoms of any sorts of illness uh, because uh, her identity has not been released. So, again, if you uh, think you may know that man or monkey, you are asked to call Terrell Police. Back to you. All right. Alex Boyer, live. Thank you.